Hello everyone. So today we'll be talking about uh, improvement to Euler's method. Okay. So we all have seen Euler's method in the previous lecture, and we also know that it's it's an approximate method. So it has shortcomings. Obviously, the problem that we saw in the previous lecture was uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, but in real life, if you see, Euler's method is nothing but what an approximation. So obviously there will be errors in that approximation. So today what we are going to do, we are going to discuss how we can reduce those errors, how we can improve Euler's method. Okay. Now if you talk about Euler's method in a graphical sense, we all know that what we do here is we take the old value and we add the product of slope into the step size so this is your Euler's method and this is your slope and this is your predicted value this is your actual value so one thing you can see here is the big source of error when you talk about Euler's method is the way we calculate the slope. Now if you see here, here, here in this uh, Euler's method, we are using the slope at the previous point, okay, at the old point. Okay? And we are not using any intermediate point. So that is one big source of error when you talk about Euler's method. Okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to discuss few remedies that you can follow to improve your Euler's method. So the first method that actually we are going to discuss now is going to be Yoon's method. I don't know how to pronounce this but I suppose this is Yoon's. So Yoon's method. So basically the idea behind Yoon's method is very simple. Okay. So what does Hune says is, is uh, according to Hune's method, to calculate the slope, what we are going to do, we are going to use the previous point, also the new found point. Okay. So we know that uh, the previous point is this point, and the new point one is this point. So Hune says that we are going to use this slope. That is f of now let us call this point as y0 y0 i plus 1 so that we know that this is an approximate point and this is your xi y so the slope at this point is going to be what f i plus 1 y0 i plus 1 so yun says that what you do is you take the slope at this point you slope, take the slope and this point and you take the average of both the things. So when you take the average of both the things, what you are going to get is, is going to be this kind of slope. And what is the value of this slope? It's going to be xi, yi, psi plus 1, i plus 1 divided by So if you want to write it down mathematically, we can write it down, we'll say yi plus one point at this point, that is yi plus one zero is equal to yi plus fx i yi into h and uh, your yi plus one is equal to yi plus f x i y i divided by 2 into h so this is known as your Hune's method so this 
is your predictor and this is your corrector. So this is known as a predictor corrector scheme. So this is how you can improve your Euler's method. Okay. Now another method that we are going to discuss, another improvement that is known as your midpoint method also known as improve Euler's method again the idea here is, is simple what it says is I'll first write down the equation so the idea is y plus half xi yi into h divided by 2 so says that set x y so this is your xi xi plus half so if you see midpoint method says that uh, instead of using the end point that is the previous point why don't you use this midpoint the newly formed midpoint okay so this is nothing but psi half pi i half so this is your midpoint so basically what we do is we use the midpoint the slope of the midpoint so this is an improvement in your Euler's method